speaking about the, these blessings. The Prophet ﷺ said, to speak about the blessings that God has given you is gratitude. وَأَمَّا بِنَعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ As for the blessing of your Lord, speak about it. Speak about it. Talk about the blessing. Because when you talk about blessing, you remind people. Alhamdulillah, ni'mat al-ta'am, the blessing of food, the blessing of warmth, the blessing of comfort, the blessing of health. When, when ta'uddu ni'mat Allah la tuhsuha, if you begin to enumerate the blessing of God, you'll never come to the end. There was a study done, I think it was at Davis, about, was it at Davis? Yeah, they did a study on depressed people. And what they had is they had a group, they had a control group and then the other group. And they had these people every day they would count their blessings and the other people didn't. And they had the same level of depression. What they found, they'd have them every morning, they had to write down blessings that they thought. Think of things that you feel grateful about. So they would start the day, you know, I'm glad I'm alive. You know, I'm glad I have food. I'm glad I have a house. Whatever. Just start. And they would enumerate them as an exercise. What they found is those people became less depressed as time went on. So the study showed that the fact that they began to reflect on the blessings of God, it actually changed their perception. And that's why remembering the blessing of God is so essential to our faith and tradition. And then he says that shukr with your limbs is acting in obedience to God and leaving disobedience. And then gratitude with the heart is knowing the scope of, of the blessing. The scope of the blessing and knowledge that it's from God alone and that it's from his bounty. It's nothing you warranted. It's nothing you warranted. There's a beautiful poem that accentuates this uh, by Robert Frost called The Fear of God. He says, if you should rise from nowhere to somewhere, from being nobody to being somebody, be sure to keep reminding yourself you owe it to an arbitrary God whose mercy to you rather than to others won't bear too much examination. Stay unassuming. So he's saying that when you're given things, wealth, health, whatever, you, you become a doctor, you become, you know, people were, were nothing and then they become something. They were nowhere and then they end up somewhere. So he's saying be sure to keep reminding yourself you owe it to an arbitrary God that the reason he's giving you this is because it's his bounty. He gives it to whom he pleased. Don't think it's something I deserve. I'm better than these people. You have to see it that it's just bounty from Allah. And that keeps you from getting arrogant. Stay unassuming. If for lack of license to wear the uniform of who you are, you should be tempted to make up for it in a subordinating look word or glance. So if you don't really feel worthy of it and then you're tempted to make up for that unworthiness by looking at others as less than you. People that have contempt for others, it's really about their own self-worth is diminished. That's why they have to have contempt for others because they don't even, they don't feel worthy. So they, they try to create their own self-worth by having contempt for others.